Why has it gone out of focus? Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a quick video about Prey. Prey is a piece of software which you can get for your laptop, your computer, runs on a lot of operating systems, phones and tablets as well. Basically what it does is it allows you to try and track your device should it go missing or get stolen. So here we are on the Prey homepage and you can go on free download here if you want to get it now. You need to create an account for this. So I'm going to log in now and show you the panel which uh, is kind of what you'll see when you uh, get your devices attached. Okay, so when you logged in, uh, the Prey panel looks something like this. You see I've got a few devices on there at the moment. Uh, the HTC Wildfire is my old phone, so there's nothing on that. I don't know why it's used the image of that. It's like I think that's their default phone image. But anyway, you can see at the bottom there I've got my Nexus 4, and then in the middle is my laptop, which is a MacBook. I'll show you the laptop one first. I haven't got any reports to show you, but uh, it's good if you want to mess around with it. Uh, you can have a look. Uh, when you install Prey on a desktop operating system like Mac OS X, uh, it's going to give you a lot more options than it would do with a portable device like a phone or a tablet. Um, so you get geo-tracking, network, and this is all on a free account by the way. Um, you can get the active connections, and then with the session you can grab a screenshots from what they're looking at on the screen. Uh, you can see all these stuff here, it's pretty cool. And most importantly, it takes photos from your webcam. So if you've got that on, then you can perhaps see their face if they haven't covered it. And that sort of thing. So on the free account, you can set the alarms to go off every 10 minutes. There's also some other things you can perform, which are actions, which will lock it and stuff like that. I'm not really sure how good these are. Sometimes I've tried them and they don't seem to work properly. Like you can kind of bypass them. So... We have to do a swipe it to missing and then change the frequency of the reports. So on the free account you get um, the fastest you can get is every 10 minutes. And if you, ch I think if you get a paid account you can request reports on demand as well as some other features to it. Um, all the report will send you is like, well like I said, the screenshot, webcam and geolocations. Uh, the locations coming back from Prey can be sometimes inaccurate. Um, especially if you're using like an older phone, sometimes even with GPS turned on it might just locate it to the nearest cell tower. Um, but with the laptop, if it's on Wi-Fi, it's generally pretty good um, at the location stuff. And then I'll show you as well my Nexus 4 page. Um, so yeah, you can see on the mobile device here, it's a lot more limited in what it can send you. Uh, you get the geo, the network and the webcam. Now the geo stuff works fine especially if you've got a new device, the GPS on it is good and if it's connected to Wi-Fi that's also pretty good at tracking where it is. Uh, but the webcam wouldn't work on mine, even though I have a front-facing webcam. Apparently it's because I'm using a non-skin version of Android 4.2.2 and for some reason it won't take pictures and I'm not really sure why but apparently it's going to get fixed so yeah that's a quick look. I'm going to show you a quick setup on the Nexus now just to kind of show what it looks like on there, how you set it up and stuff. But yeah that's a quick look at Prey, free software to track all your devices. Um, I'd highly recommend you do it. It's not foolproof but it is just another layer of extra protection and so yeah I thought I'd share that with you guys in case any of you didn't know about it. Yeah, you need to get this. And one last thing I'll say about Prey is that you want to make sure that you uh, have a unique and strong password for your Prey account. Because if you imagine as much as you don't want your device to get uh, stolen, you probably also don't want someone else logging into your Prey account and watching you. So uh, yeah, get a good, good password on it as well. Alright, cheers guys. Okay, so now I'm going to run through the Prey installation on Android. You need to load up the Play Store and search for Prey. Uh, we'll come up with Prey Anti Theft, that's the top hit. Click that and then go into install. And you can read that if you want. So make sure you accept and download that. And then it'll start downloading. Okay, so it's installed. Let's open it up. I'm already a Prey user. If you're not, you're going to click New User or you can set it up on your computer as well. If you've got a laptop, I recommend doing it on that first. So I'm just going to enter my details and add this device. Okay, so I've just entered my email address and password, and it's come up with this screen. So as you can see in the middle one, you can set it up so if you get too many unlock attempts, it'll erase all the data on the phone, and the other two are handy as well. So yeah, I'll activate that and give it a try. Device is set up. So go to settings. So now you've added the device. If you go and log in on their website, this will be 
this device will now be on your device list. We'll go through some of these things. So camouflage mode in case you can't read. Uh, that will just display a fake login page. SMS activation, you might want to set your message. Uh, so GoPro is a bit obvious, um, but you might want to change it to something more covert. So you have the extra security there to uninstall, uh, have a password to uninstall. Again, that's kind of useful if it gets stolen. You can warn on the SIM changes. So if someone's trying to use their SIM once you've cancelled your contract or something, if it gets stolen. And then other things just to help you manage your account. 